In this video, I'll explain how to install RStudio, the most popular interface to the R programming language. If you already have an older version of R or RStudio, you can follow exactly the same steps shown here. If you're really short on space, you can consider uninstalling older versions of R, though they usually don't take up much space. RStudio, on the other hand, will automatically overwrite its older version, so there is no need to uninstall first. Just make sure you close RStudio if you're using it right now, and you're good to go. If you search online for RStudio, you'll likely see Posit somewhere at the top of the results, which is the new name of the company that develops RStudio. Navigate to their website and click on the button in the upper right corner that says Download RStudio. Then scroll down until you see another button that says exactly the same and click on that. This will take you to a page with instructions on how to install both programs. The first link will take you to the official R website. Select your operating system and there's another unfortunately named link that says install R for the first time. But this is actually the right link for everyone, even if you already have an older version of R installed. This will take you to the latest version with the download link at the top. Click on the download link and wait for it to complete. Once ready, Windows users run the exe file and Mac users the pkg file. This will open an installer where you can press enter without changing any options. When the installation is complete, press enter once more to close the installer. Note that you don't have to open the program you just installed. We're going to run R from within our studio, which is the next program we're going to install. Go back to the Posit website and this time press the second link. This should start a download for the RStudio installer. Run the installer once ready and press enter everywhere, just going with the defaults again. You should now have the latest version of R and RStudio installed. Next, let's verify everything is working correctly by opening RStudio. The first time you do this, you might be prompted to choose a version of R. If this is the case, just use the Auto Detect option. When you open RStudio for the first time, it will probably look something like this, with three different panes. In the linked video, I explain these in more detail. But most importantly, on the left you see the console, which is R running in the background. You can type code here, but none of it will be saved anywhere. You can't easily draft entire scripts, there's no annotation, nor any clean way to add description to your code, which is why we're using our studio. To get started, go to New File and select Cordo Document. If you've ever used our Markdown before, this is almost the same. We can create headers, text, code chunks, and basic markup. There's one big difference. Cordo has a visual editor. This is nice because it gives you a preview of what your file will look like once rendered. Especially if you're a beginning coder, I imagine this looks a lot easier than the raw R markdown that underlies it. If you do want more control over your document, you can always switch back and forth with the button in the upper left corner of your file. To check that your installation is working correctly, save your file in the location of your choosing and try to knit it into a document. Cordo, like our Markdown, can knit by default to either of three formats. HTML, which is best for web content and Beamer presentations. Word, which is nice to share your file with anyone not versed in our Markdown. And PDF, which uses a powerful language LaTeX to produce much better typesetting than you get in Word. To change the format of your file, simply go to the top part over here called the preamble and edit the format to one of HTML, DocX or PDF. Click on Knit or use the keyboard shortcut, install any missing packages if prompted, and wait for the knitting process to complete. If you've managed to get this far and your file knits to complete a document, then our studio is ready to use. In the linked video, we'll have a look at the R Markdown language, which includes Cardo, and we'll see what all these different windows in our studio are for. Thank you for watching.